Now all we have to do is push again towards the car to stop it. And we managed to get a 911. How awesome is that? So in this video I'm going to show how we can access the Chrono Sport Clock. Now on your left hand side of the steering wheel, look at the back below, you have this extra steering stock. It could go inward from the into the car towards you and up and down. Now put on the ignition. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull this stock towards the car. Okay, now we got the menu. Now obviously down will go down and up will go up. Find Krona. Again, push towards the car and you get into the Krono uh, menu. If I had pushed towards me, I would have gotten outwards. So towards the car is confirmation, confirm. Now for Krono, we got start timing as the only option. So once we hit start timing, again, we hit towards the car. Let's see if we can get all that. You see that Krono clock started. Okay, uh, we could stop timing. So again, push towards the car. Timing stopped. And we can continue. Timing. Okay, we got intermediate timing. Select a new lap. And so forth. Stop timing. down and reset let's go back to the zero position it's that simple I'd like to note that the Krona Sport Clock does not turn on when you turn on the headlights it only turns on when we start timing let's see if we can get to 997 that would be awesome now all we have to do is push again towards the car to stop it. And we managed to get a 911. How awesome is that? Hope this was very useful. Uh, if you like it, please like this video, subscribe and take care.